Everyone and uh, welcome back to the series of electromechanical energy conversion practice problems and this is our fourth question about synchronous generator. So in this question we are given the rated S of the uh, synchronous generator. We are given the terminal voltage which is 4600 volt. It's Y connected as you can see here and we are given the no load voltage 8350 volt. And the power factor is 0 0.7 lagging. Now for this question, we don't know XS. So the most important thing in this question is to find XS. All other requirements, as we will see, become straightforward. The voltage regulation, the torque angle, and the developed power. Okay, so how to find XS? Before that, let's formulate the problem to understand where is the challenge in finding XS. Now, this is a lossless model, so RA is equal to zero. So we will have the generator as EA, only we have XS, and we have the phase voltage, V phase, the terminal phase voltage. Okay, now this is your IA, we know that your EA is equal to the V phase plus IA times JXS. Okay, so what do we know here? We know that V phase is equal to 4600 divided by root 3 angle of 0, and this will give me 2656 angle of zero volt. So I know V phase. Also, I know IA. My IA, because everything here has directed value, we want to calculate all these things at the rated value, which is the 1000 kVA. So this is equal to 1000 kVA, so times 10 to power 3, divided by root 3, the line to line voltage, the VT, which is the fourth 4.6 kV. 4600 volt and this as a magnitude is equal to 125.5 amps we are given the power factor and since v phase is actually angle zero and the power factor is the angle between v phase and ia then you can find that your ia is equal to 125.5 minus cosine inverse of the 0.75 and this will give me 125.5 angle of minus 41.4. So I know IA. Now, I also, I know the magnitude of EA. How is that? Because I know the no load voltage. So at no load, the V terminal will become equal to EA. So the magnitude of EA is actually equal to 8350 divided by root 3 but with an angle delta that I don't know and this is equal to 4821 angle of delta so let me now set the equation so we will have 4821 angle of delta that I don't know is equal to 2656 angle of zero with which is v phase plus your current ia125 0.5 angle of minus 41.4 times JXS that I don't know. I don't know XS. Okay, so I have here two unknowns. I have delta and XS, and clearly this is a nonlinear equation. What else I know? I know P, the power, because I have the power factor and I have S, the rated P, which is 1000 times 10 to power 3, 1000 kVA, times the power factor, 0 0.75, and this will give me 750 kilowatt. But this is equal to 3 times the EA times the V phase over XS sine delta. So this is the equation for the power when we ignore RA. So from this, your 750 times 10 to power 3 will equal to 3 
EA is the 4, A21. The V phase is equal to 2656-2656 two, divided by XS sine delta, which is equal to 38,413.7 times 10 to the power 3 over XS sine delta. So now we have what? We have two non-linear equations. This is the first equation, and this is the second equation. We don't want to go through iteration to solve this. So how to solve this equation? The best way to do that is to, to solve it graphically. Okay, now this is my V phase, angle zero, and I know it's magnitude. So this vector, I know the magnitude and the angle. Also, I know IA. My IA, I know theta, the power factor angle, and I know IA magnitude. Now, if you take IA here and continue, so we will have here your IA XS. And then adding V phase times IA XS, you will get your EA. And this is your your delta. Now, if I extend this and this until we have meet at 90 degree here, I will call this O, A, and B. Okay. Now, what is O, A? The vector O, A actually is equal to V phase cosine theta. V phase cosine theta, which is the power factor angle. So this is equal to 265.6 times the 0.75, and this is equal to 1992 volt. So I know this vector now, OA. And also I know AB. This, this is, remember, this is a right angle triangle. So your AB is equal to EA squared minus OA square, which is equal to 482.1 square minus the, this vector, the OA square, 1992 square, and this will give me 4390 volt. So now I know this whole vector, this whole thing. So I know all of this. Now, I want to find IAXS, so your IAXS, which is this portion of this vector, is equal to the whole vector minus this. So it's equal to the AB minus this. But what this vector is basically not, nothing but V phase sine theta. So minus V phase sine theta is equal to 4390 minus 2656 sine the angle which is 41.4 and if you do that you will find this equal to 2633 volt so this is your IAXS so from this easily I can find XS which is equal to IAXS which is this magnitude divided by IA which I already calculated for before. This is your IA. I know it's magnitude 125.5 amps. So this is equal to 263.3 divided by the IA, the 125.5, and this will give you 21 ohm. So this is your XS. This is, as I said, this is the most important thing in this question. Once we know this, everything else becomes straightforward. Voltage regulation. Straight forward. What is the voltage regulation? Is equal to the V of the phase at no load minus the V of the phase at full load divided by V of the phase at full load. But we know that the V phase at no load is nothing but EA. So this is equal to EA, which is 4821, minus the V phase at the full load 260. 
0.2656 divided by 2656. And if you want it as a percentage, times 100, which is equal to 81.5%, which is very, very high. It's not a good voltage regulation. Then part C, we want to find the angle. We know that P is equal to 3 V phase EA over XS sine delta. We have everything. So our P750 kilowatt times 10 to power 3 equal to 3 times V phase, which is 265.6 EA, which is 482.1 divided by 21 sine delta. So this is the only unknown. If you solve for this, you will find that your sine delta is nothing but equal to 0.41. And from this, you will find that your delta is equal to 24.2 degree. Finally, D, what is the P developed? We know that the P developed is equal to the P out minus the electrical losses minus the p cover loss but this generator ra is ignored so this is equal to zero so this is basically equal to p out which is equal to 750 kilo kilowatt